We've got a Spanish sweet treat to enjoy this morning. That's right, we've got a goodie today, churros. So this is a Spanish donut. We're gonna make the mix, we're gonna deep fry them, coat them in sugar, they're really nice. But we're gonna do two sauces to go with it, a chocolate oh. sauce and a caramel sauce. Yes, traditionally well. eaten in breakfast churros, that's kind of how they eventuated, so. Oh really? Yeah, now we just Very eat good. them all, all, all through say, the day. Yeah. <laughs> this is always a good time to eat these. Okay, so really quite um, a quick and uh, easy food to make, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, really good. So it's yeah. basically making a, a shoe pastry. So we're going to make a shoe pastry, cook it out, we're going to beat the eggs into it there, mm. and then we're going to cook it in the pan there. Yeah, really with two simple. sauces. Yeah, yeah, we are on fire. Okay, make plenty, because we know Mel's got a very sweet <laughs> tooth, and we all want to have a bit of it, okay? Great to have you with us in the Beko Kitchen as we celebrate the arrival of the new Sayat Arona, the stylish city SUV, with Spanish Week, because Sayats are Spanish cars. So we're doing Spanish food this week, and very excited about today's recipe, Mark. A nice sweet <laughs> treat. It is a sweet treat. So, curas, churros, curas. Churros, churros. Many different ways of saying it, but it's all the same. It's like ah. a, a Spanish donut, which yeah. we're going to deep fry. Mm. Uh, it's got no jam in it, but we coat it in sugar and we make two sauces with it a caramel and a chocolate one, so arguably better. Nice, and we're going to make a shoe pastry. Now, that's traditionally made so the moisture locks in the pastry when you're cooking it, and that's what fluffs it up, so you don't use self raising agents. Very good, Mike. There you go. Someone's been studying. <laughs> yeah, I have. <laughs> right, so we're going to start it off now. So we've got, uh, I've got some water in there. Yeah. Uh, butter goes in there, sugar goes in there, and what you, you want to dissolve all this. Okay. Okay, so, nice. so get the heat up. Yep. Uh, and then sort of turn it down, stir it around so um, all the butter dissolves in it. So it is a weighed recipe out, so you just want to be careful when you when you do this. You don't want to evaporate the water too much, otherwise your uh, quantities will go out. So okay, we be, need that just moisture. Just be wary, yep. yeah. Okay, great. Well, I've got some I've got some oil in the pan as well. I mean, you can do this in a deep fryer or, mm -hmm. um, you know, I mean, if you're going to fill the whole deep fryer up, that means you're going to have to eat these probably like at least three times a week, which is probably, probably not a bad thing. But um, if you don't want to do that, you know, you can just, just put a little bit of oil in a pan and then I'm um, just warming it up now and then we'll I'll show you how to test the temperature a bit later. Okay, this is great because a lot of you have probably bought these off a vendor on the side of the road somewhere or at a shopping complex. Yeah, I, I had some at Sylvia Park the other week actually. Yeah. And uh, yeah, we walked past it and you can smell it and you yeah. just can't, you can't go past it. And it, they were really nice actually. Well, I've certainly noticed an increase in popularity because it never used to be a truck that you'd see at the stalls, but now, no, no, you, everywhere, everyone loves the churros. You can get them everywhere now. Morning or night. All right, so all the butter's melted. Yep. All right, so now you can turn down the heat, and we've got the flour. So you want to put the flour in, and you want to be stirring this in. Okay, cool. Okay, and then basically you want to make it into a, a dough. Oh, yeah, so keep doing it. So you can see the flour's absorbing it, and we want to cook it out in the pot. Okay. Until it sort of comes away from the edges and comes into one piece. Oh yeah, that's so, turned into a dough pretty fast. Yeah, yeah, no, so it's good. But it's, it's sort of the key now is to just, um, you know, cook that flour out a bit. Okay, cool. Right, as you're doing that, so this will probably take a couple of minutes in the um, in the pot, but you can see it's getting nice and smooth now. You know, it's starting to come away from the edges. Yeah, I was just going to ask you far, that. Right? How do you know that the flour's cooked out? But I can see the, the consistency's changing. Yeah, you, you, you're getting a nice smooth ball. It's all coming together as one, pretty much, and uh, it's clean. It's you know, it's clean from the side of the um, the pot. It's looking like a pastry. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, so you sort of give it a minute or so. Another okay, minute. Cool. Right, I'm just going to start caramelising some sugar now for the caramel sauce. Yeah. So I'm going to get that on the go. Nice, make plenty of that. Yeah, so so this is a good tip for you as well. right? You, so you can caramelise some sugar. So you can put some sugar in a pot with some water and then just boil it and the water will boil off and then it will caramelise the sugar. Or if you're just doing small amounts, just do it in a dry pan. So I've just warmed this pan up lightly and I'm just going to sprinkle it onto the base and then that's just going to slowly melt. So you want to keep an eye on this. And just keep sort of, you know, keep shaking it around, but that heat will just melt the sugar and then caramelise it, so it's a lot faster way. So don't walk away from this. This is a good one to do for school holidays because I know they are coming up and some very excited kids, not so excited parents though. But <laughs> if you want to fill in a bit of time, you can make churros for the kids. Yeah, that's it, right. So we're going to pop that in the mixer now. Okay, so you cool. You can see it's all come away from the edges. Yep. It's all into one big ball. We'll pop it in there. We'll let it cool down for a few minutes. Okay. And then we're going to beat our eggs into it and then it's nearly ready to go. Brilliant. That's looking good. 
so easy. That's the thing we love. Okay, so we're going to melt the sugar down. Yeah, that's caramelising now, and then uh, so we'll come back and we'll uh, we'll finish that, and we'll make a chocolate sauce and cook these uh, churros. Oh well, this is brilliant, isn't it? We'll get the next steps to create the crispiest churros very soon. That's right after we catch up with the wonderful Holly. We are celebrating Spanish Week with the new Seat Arona by making our very own churros. And I don't think you need to worry about robots taking over our job, Mark, because <laughs> we need humans to make churros. <laughs> Regardless. <laughs> they might come out Betsy with a rope for them, potentially. <laughs> but they can't get it tasting delicious exactly, like you. Exactly, exactly. It's the personal touch. That's right. Right, so we've got that caramel, so you can see it's nice and golden. Now yeah. we're going to take it a little bit further, because we're going to make the sauce and we need to put cream into it. Ah, okay. So you well, always want to take it a little bit further. Yeah. So you think of a, a nice caramel colour. Mm. So if you get the nice caramel colour now and then you dilute it with like a, a white cream, it's going to go lower. Okay, and, do we and need to be sweeter? Do we need to let this cool down a bit though? Because won't this cream split? Uh, yeah, we want to take it off and let it cool down slightly. But I'm just going to take it to the uh, to the right level, okay. or the right stage. But you can see now Bubbling. it's smoking. Yeah. And you, you're getting these like really fine bubbles there, but it's it's getting a nice deep um, caramel colour. Okay, brilliant. Almost like a mahogany colour. Yeah, it looks, it looks there good. There you go, so, so that's really good. So take it off. Just be careful, obviously, now, because the pan is really hot and it's yep. going to carry on cooking. Okay. Um, like that. <laughs> so we're going to stop it now. So ideally, take it off the heat a little bit and then pour your cream in. But just oh be goodness. careful because it's going to bubble up. You know, watch yep. the steam there. Well, it smells incredible. But there you go. So all that, all that cream's in there, but we've still got this really deep, beautiful caramel colour. That's sensational. And there you go. I mean, that's that's ready to go. Right, chocolate Done. sauce. So really simple. Yes. So I've got another pot here. I've got some cream. So we're going to bring the cream up to the boil. And yep. then I've got some nice dark chocolate there. So 70% dark chocolate. Brilliant. And we can chop it up or just warm the cream up and we can pour it into a bowl or just into a pot and then just whisk it in. Okay. Off the heat. Great. Right, our dough's here. So I've just got it in the machine, so it's cooled down a few minutes. Yep. Um, I'll put one egg in there. Okay. So when you put the egg in, it goes like that, and then I'm going to put the other egg in. So one egg in at a time. Yes. And just let it all come together. So crack it into a little bowl so you don't get any shell. So you put the second egg in once the first egg's mixed in yeah, nicely. Yeah, yeah. So, cool. so just do it one at a time so it doesn't all go together. And, okay, then, and then let it sort of come in, and you want it go, to go to a nice paste now. This is a really affordable sweet treat, isn't it? Yeah, Most no, of these it's, ingredients it's you will have at home. You send the kids up the road to get your cream. Yeah, exactly. I don't know do people do that nowadays. I used to when I was a kid. <laughs> I used to go and pick up mum and dad's cigarettes, actually, <laughs> with a little note. <laughs> anyway. With a note? Yeah, yeah a little any... note, yeah. Oh, what happened to those days? You can send your kids up to the dairy. Right, so we've got, uh, so we got some oil on here, so you're just going to check the temperature. Mm -hmm. So just turn the speed up a little bit and we'll just... Make sure it all sort of um, is mixes it looking right? in. Are you happy with the consistency? Yeah. Sort of. Sort of. <laughs> I'm going to get it out, and we'll just we'll just give it a bit of a mix by hand. Okay, nice. And then you get a piping bag. So I've got a piping bag here. Yep. So you have a look at that, mm -hmm. and I've got like a nice star nozzle in. Okay, now, cool. If you, if you haven't got a piping bag at home, you know you can actually use um, you can make one. Yeah. You know, like a sandwich bag. Yep. So if you make a sam get a sandwich bag and then uh, put all the dough in, squash it to the corner, and you can just cut the corner off oh, yeah, you know, cool. as, a, as a makeshift um, bag. So you can see the dough now, so yep, it's all nice and smooth, good. Oh. coming together. And you've got to make sure your fat, oh, your, your, what do you call this, oil is yeah. hot? <laughs> your fat. <laughs> I'm really nostalgic this morning, aren't I? <laughs> right, so pop that in there, and then you want to um, flip the top over. Right, try and take all the air out, and you just want to sort of squash it, squash it down. <laughs> and he, then, didn't, he didn't practice any of this. And then you just pipe it straight into the oil. Look at that. And get these nice long... Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that's, well, that's going to be a huge well, one, isn't one. It? <laughs> Okay, well, no, I see the theory. So, yeah, yeah. you get these nice long, like, sausages, but with that star nozzle as well. You know, you get the little, the, uh, oh, the shape of it. And that's mm. what makes it really crispy. I know, and look, it's looking good too. It's looking like a churro <laughs> should. Okay. I'm gonna, I'm gonna fix the bag you and make some more. You fix the bag and make some more, mate. They're gonna be very enjoyable, I'm sure. And if you'd like to enjoy the taste of authentic Spanish cuisine, thanks to our friends at Say It, we've got your chance to win tuppers for two with wine at Majith Tuppers Bar in Auckland. Just head along to our Facebook page to enter. Thank you to everybody that's done that already. Okay. Mark, these look incredible. You did very well with your faulty bag. Good work. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We adapted and overcame. Nice. What are you doing yeah. tomorrow? Right, tomorrow we're still with the Spanish theme. Chicken, prawn and chorizo jambalaya.